Hello everybody and welcome to the first P4A3 screencast. What I'm gonna show you today is how to build a simple application with uh, just a button in the middle of the screen. When the user clicks the button we'll let him see just an info message. So let's start opening our favorite editor. I always use Eclipse. You can see this is my local P4A3 installation and we need to create our new application directory we're gonna call it hello word within this directory we need an index.php file which is our launcher file within this file we can do configuration or including external files or whatever but we just need to require, to require the p main file And after that, we're gonna instance P4A and let the application start with just this few lines of code. P4A singleton. You can see this singleton method needs the application name, and this is the name of the main class for the application. After that, we'll let the application start with the main method. Okay, now we need the objects directory. Within the objects directory, we'll put all the classes of our, of, uh, our projects. Let's start from the hello word class. This class will extend P4A itself and we need a constructor here so public function construct within the constructor we'll call the P4A constructor and after that we'll tell the system that all we need is to open a mask and we'll call this mask first mask okay this should be all now we need to create the first mask so new PHP file first mask this is a class 2 class first mask extending P4A base mask Okay, we need a constructor here too. Public function construct. We call the parent constructor here too. And after that, we need to build all the objects and widgets we want to see on the mask. Let's start from the bottom. So this build. We want to build a P4A bat button and we're gonna call it just button. We will also want to change the label of the button, so we'll call the set label method A. Hey, I'm a button. Click me. And after that, we tell the system that the button will implement an action, an event, and that event will be on click, and we'll call this button click. So after that, we'll tell the mask that we wanna anchor our button. So we'll anchor it to the frame, to the main frame we have in the base mask. Main frame, anchor center. This the button. Okay. Now we need to create the button click method. So this will be a public function 
button click and uh, within this method we just use this uh, shortcut method with this info hello user okay this should be all we have our button we tell the system that we have uh, an on click uh, action and we want to call this button click the button click method just uh, output an info message hello user okay let's try it look close to the applications hello word here we go we have uh, our button now we can try clicking it Oop. hello user let's try it again okay it works now uh, let's try changing a bit uh, the um, the message uh, we can try adding new messages uh, you can see we don't have uh, only the info method but we can use the warning of the error method hey I'm a warning a m an error so let's see what will happen Ooh. again okay let's that's all for this screencast uh, hope to see you soon thank you for watching